Hello, dearies. Welcome back to a new video. Okay. So, if today is your first time of watching my videos or visiting my channel, click on the red subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon so that each time that I upload a new video, you'll be notified. Okay. Thank you for doing that. So guys, in today's video, I want to, you know, like talk about um, someone, right? There are people out there, there are women, there are ladies, there are girls that, you know, they have this patches, you know, beside the cheeks, the two cheeks, you know, if you can look carefully, I don't have anything like that, but I have this coat, this is from my son. <laughs> He just uses his nail to cut me from hair. And then this spot that I have on my face is as a result of my period. Um, you know, each time I'm having periods, I used to have this pimples kind of a thing. And so when they dry, they turn out to be spot like this. But I always use something to, you know, fade it out. But when you look carefully, there's nothing like sunburn. Although I don't have sunburn, I've never been burned by sun because I always use my sun block or SPF. That's why it's very, very important. If you do go out, you don't. You really need to be using your SPF. Guys, I'm sorry about this, the noise behind. I have a prince in the house and there's no way I can make this video without him being there. He'll be there, he'll be talking. Okay. So please bear with me, but just focus on what I'm saying. That's the most important thing. So it's very good that you keep putting on your sunblock when you're going out because somehow it's not as a result of the sun burning your face. It's as a result of, you know, um, the products that you're using. That needs some protection along with it if you're someone that is using lightning products you will definitely need SPF from 15 to 100 to kind of protect your skin against the radicals out there so that's why it's advised that you always put on your sunblock or you use products that have SPF most especially on your face because the face is the most you know sensitive part of yourself you know part of the body so what is mostly important to use is use products with spf or you get a sunblock on its own right so you can get burnt as well from using products that are not original you know when you're using a face cream that is not original it's possible that it's burn side of your face it's, it's the bond is not only coming from the sun it also comes from you know using fake products or products that are too harsh to your skin or products that are too harsh to your face so when you get a new product it's advised that you test it on part of your palm for like a day or two to see how it's on your palm so if it's good at least on your palm you can go ahead and apply it on your face you don't just get a product not knowing maybe uh, it's good for your face or not. Not even going through the ingredients to know which ingredients you have allergic to. You just start applying it directly on your face and thereby you having some, you know, burnt and damaged your face. Because the face is the window of the body. I always say it, that the face is the window of the body. So you have to take care of the face. You have to be careful of what you pour on the face. You have to be careful of what you rub on the face so if you are to take care of your face please be careful of the product some people react to gojic acid it's harsh on their skin so if you're taking anything for the face and you know that you're allergic to gojic acid don't take any product that has gojic acid in it skip it get a mild product use it on the face and you have a glowing face okay 
and in some cases if you don't exfoliate your face if you don't cleanse your face if you don't do some you know um some rituals to your face your face will be accumulating some kind of dirt and chemicals and that will turn out to be burnt on your face and it will make your face look rough and you're there by looking older than your age so as women as dairies as we are guys we have to take care of our face we have to be careful of what we feed the face off right so guys if you are in this category of those that have bonds or side bonds or general facial bonds maybe as a result of using um tube creams there are a lot of factors that can cause your face to you know get damaged if you're using tube gel on your face directly for a long period of time there is probability of you burning your face okay even if you are applying sun block or you are applying spf and to be sincere with you guys those that use gel tube on their faces i'm sorry to say this they really don't go through the ingredients or they are not well educated they just pick products they don't read one they they are not educated enough they just use anything that whiten up their face you know because if you're educated enough you know that using gel on your face a tube gel that will brighten out your skin or your face is very dangerous because there's hydroquinone inside not even two percent not even five up to ten so you have to be careful of the things you apply on the face and if you're educated go through the ingredient check it gels are not meant to be applied on the face they are treatments they are to be used for a short period of time from three to five days and you stop it you don't continue using something for months to months and the back result is it will just burn your face because it's going to shrink your skin and give it a serious burn and that burn you keep spending and trying it will not clear fast so please stop using tube creams on your face and even if you are using it it should be from a professional a skincare person you know or it should be that there's a limit that you use it maybe from five to seven days or from there should be a prescription you don't just use it as if because it's brightening your face or let me just be you end up on your face okay guys so if you have this problem I'm here to present a nice product for you that you can get very cheap and very effective you use it is as a result of um, is a product that treats over bleaching and sunburn and skin damage just as I said, like all the skin problems that I listed before. Okay, guys, so this product is called this product is called Glyceptin. I don't know if you've come across it. Okay. Glyceptin is a combination of different nice products inclusive of sunscreen to help you know heal or bleach out any um bleaching patch or any damage that cream or over bleaching or sun have caused your face right it's a strong treatment to help clear out any damage that you have accumulated or that has happened to you along the line or when you're using products that you're not supposed to use okay guys so this product by using it for a period of two to three weeks you know without a stop helps to clear out this um dark patches on the face right so um It treats hyperpigmentation, it treats dark spots, it treats a lot of things that you have accumulated during trying to bleach out your face. It's specially made for the face, not for the body. Okay? It's just for the face, not for the body. So this product, if you have this condition that I've talked about, try to get this product, mix it with your cream or apply it directly. And keep watching until you start seeing results. Okay, guys, 
this product is very active i've recommended it to few of my clients that have this issue and they have they, as in, they are satisfied with the results so you can try out it will work with your skin type yeah this is the end of today's video guys thanks for watching i'll see you again in my next video bye <laughs>